right now, what I want to do is uh, move forward to the kind of uh, the main purpose of the meeting here and looking at recon. There is the interface for recon. Recon is also um, a competitive intelligence tool where it analyzes your competitors. And the purpose of recon is to help you in choosing um, what SEO factors to focus on for a particular key phrase and what values to shoot for when you're making those changes. So this is the standard interface here. And basically what you do is you choose your search engine, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. And within Google, you can choose um, Australia, Canada, and UK. And there are plans to uh, add some other engines in there as well. And then you select the folder where you want the output to be placed. You're going to get three different files for output. One is going to be a Word document, which we'll go through. Another is going to be a spreadsheet that has all the raw data that was collected. And a third is a flash file that um, is a 3D interface for looking at you and your competitors and seeing how you measure up against them. So um, this is where you select that output destination. And then it's just as simple as typing in your key phrase. You can type them in line by line. So I've got um, one here, Articane Dental. We could put something like iPad apps there. And you just put in one per line. And the other fields you have in this grid are URLs that you want to compare. So let's say you're going to run this report on uh, the key phrase Articane Dental. And you're going to select to analyze 30 competitors. But your URL is not in the top 30. And you still want to analyze. So this place over here in the grid is where you would type that. So you type in the full URL that you want to analyze, whatever the domain is here, and a page. So that's where you put all that information in there. And if you have a site and you haven't yet chosen what URL you're going to optimize for a particular target key phrase, and let's say um, you're not actually sure. For just a second, where can you hold on for a second? Yeah, Mike. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Mike's experiencing a little audio problems right now, so please stand by. This is like TV. Uh, while Mike is uh, getting his audio adjusted, uh, just a reminder to anybody, uh, everybody: uh, if you have any questions, uh, please type in your questions. We have a couple questions that have already come in. And uh, typically we type. Try Sorry to about take. that. Had to get rid of some background noise. Not a problem, my friend. Take it away. So, um, so you put a URL here. If you're not sure what URL to use because you haven't figured out what landing page to optimize, what you do is you just type in your home page, and this field here, just like that. And what Recon will do is then go to your site and it will choose what it thinks are the five top candidates to optimize for that particular key phrase. Basically, whichever pages on your page and your site are already somewhat relevant to the key phrase. And it will analyze all five of those top URL candidates. So you fill in this grid, your key phrase, a URL if you need to put that in there, or your domain name. And then you also select how many inbound links or IBLs per competitor you want analyzed. So you can get anything here from 30 up to uh, 500 or so. Uh, for a competitive key phrase, it's usually good to start with 30 competitors and 100 IBLs per competitor. Now, the more IBLs that you select, the longer it's going to take to run uh, because it's real time. It actually goes out in real time and grabs all this information. Um, but as far as input, that's all you need. Search engines, the destination for the output, your key phrase, and any URLs you want to add and you choose the number of competitors and the number of links per competitor you want analyzed. And then you press gather data and it starts doing its work. So as far as the output, one of the first things that you're going to get will be a Word document. And this Word document will have a, uh, a summary of all the information and recommendations that you need for that particular key phrase. So this Word document here, you see it's got a table of contents and everything. And the output comes just like this. So 
it's almost in a format that's that's ready with just a minor tweaking here and there to actually pass off as a deliverable to a to a client. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about here is something here called a Nexus score, this NXS, and that's basically kind of a confidence factor. It's telling you that uh, uh, it's a confidence factor of about 75 percent, um, letting you know there's a there's a slight chance that there are some other factors that are not measured by recon, or there may be some noise or in the, in the data that may influence uh, the results that you get. Um, it doesn't mean that tw that 25 percent of the information is unreliable. It just means there's a 25 percent chance that something is in there that's not measured. And basically, what you're looking for is really anything that is around 50 percent or 55 percent or so as a nexus score, and you're okay. If you see something lower than that, it may mean you need to gather more data. So you may need to run the report again and include more inbound links or include more competitors so it can get more data to make its analysis. Um, and then you get a kind of prose definition of the different sections and that's pretty straightforward when you read through it, which what each section does. And then you get here a section that shows the relationship between the different SEO factors. It's telling you which ones are most important to focus on for this particular key phrase. This is a bar chart, so all the blue bars are off-page factors. All the green bars are on-page factors. And down here, you have a bullet, bullet list that breaks it out for you. So the four top bullets are the four most important on-page factors. And then the uh, second set here are the four most important off-page factors. So these are the things that you'll be able to work on that will make the most difference and making some movement for this particular key phrase. And that way you don't have to tweak by trial and error month after month until you figure out what you need to focus on. So um, I think at this point I'll, I'll interject a kind of a short uh, a story. I had a client that was doing really well for um, a target key phrase, ranking on the first page for a couple of years, and then they dropped to the second page suddenly. Uh, they spent seven or eight months tweaking using all the different best practices that they knew of to try to change the situation. And after about seven or eight months, they really got nowhere. Um, and then they became a client of mine and asked me to figure out what was going on. So I used this technology to figure out for them what they needed to focus on. Once I isolated the three things they needed to work on, they worked on that for a month. And that changed their problem. They jumped not only back to the first page, but to a position ranking higher um, than they were before. And it wasn't because I gave them some magic, some magic bullet to do something that they never heard of before. Um, what it was was knowing what to work on. And so they worked only on those three things. And it makes a difference in being able to, to make that change in a month or spin your wheels for seven to eight months because you don't know exactly what you need to focus on. So that's what the, the benefit of this information is here. So when we scroll down here, these are some suggested kind of ideal target values for each of the factors that were just listed in the bulleted list. Um, the main thing that you're probably going to use is this table here. And this shows the minimum and maximum competitive range for each of the various SEO factors. So that you can tell, for example, we put a URL in here to compare against. Um, and when you enter a URL in that grid, it automatically highlights in red measurements where you are uh, on the borderline or outside the competitive range, and then in green where you're inside the competitive range. So you can see right away, based on what's red and green, what you need to focus on. And there's one exception as far as this range. Um, and that is the text proximity score. Uh, for that measurement, actually, the higher your score is, the better. So this range is basically going to tell you where the high and low is for your competitive landscape for the competitors that are strong. And see the high score here is 127. Um, you can get a score as high as about 180 or 185. So if you go over this score, that's actually a good thing because the higher it is, the better. 
but for the rest, you want to be with, within the range there. So I know where the measurements are green, um, I don't need to touch those. I can just leave those alone. And I only need to focus on what's red, but also what's red and what is highlighted here as an important factor. So those are the two things that I'm looking to combine. What's an important factor based on this page here and this information, and of those factors, where am I red? So then I narrow down the focus of which factors I'm going to work on. And then you know out of the gate exactly what to start working on and then what range or what value uh, to shoot for. Now in most cases, when I'm running through this, I typically look at uh, the title tag, so I look at the, uh, the count, which is the, the number of words, not the number of characters, uh, the keyword density for the title tag. I tend to look at um, text proximity and then um, OBL count and OBL keyword density, that's outbound link. So it's the number of words in anchor text for outbound links. And then the keyword density is the keyword density for your key phrase across the anchor text and those links for outbound links pointing out of your page. And those are typically the areas that I spend most of my time on. Um, a lot of the other information here for on-page factors, like uh, the description, meta tag, and the keyword meta tag, those are basically put there um, because uh, people think something is wrong if they're, if they're not there. The keyword meta tag doesn't really have an effect. Um, the description meta tag is important for click-through rate, but it's not going to affect your, your actual ranking. Um, and text keyword density, uh, believe it or not, does not really have that much of an impact, um, at least in Google, for ranking. Proximity is much more important. So the main areas I focus on are title tag, text proximity, and then OBL count and OBL keyword density for on-page factors. So the rest of this, the bottom of this section here, these are all off-page factors. And what they're doing is they're looking across the link partners that have been analyzed and giving a number or a profile. You can kind of look at it as an average um, across those links for what your values are. So title tags are looked at, um, the body of those pages, the proximity value, um, outbound links, um, the anchor keyword density, um, and then IBL authority, which is really kind of a relevant score. Um, that's not something you can impact directly. It's a combination of looking at title tags, anchor text, and H1 tags, and looking at the key phrase there. Um, so when you're going out and you're looking for link partners, these are the features that you're looking for um, to help you in ranking for this particular key phrase. Or if you're going to be doing content syndication, and you're going to be writing copy and syndicating that to get your links, these are the features that you want to look at, and these are the ranges that you want to target. So that's how you make use of, of this table. And another thing that you can do with Recon is it gives you what's called a threat matrix, it gives you these charts, and what it will do is let you know if there's someone that is a challenger that's nipping at your heels, someone who's in a position to potentially knock you out of your spot if they make a few changes here or there. So let's, uh, I'm going to scroll down to one where I can show you some various options here. So let's say that you were number seven for this uh, key phrase, Articane Dental. What this bar chart tells you um, is it looks at the different competitors numbered from 1 to 28 here, and the higher the bar chart, um, the further in distance and competitiveness that particular challenger is to you. So you're number 7, and so there's no bar for you, it's just a 0, because you are identical with yourself. But what's going to be highlighted for you are opportunities and threats. So here you have threats that are colored in red. So number 15 and number 21 are actually a threat to number 7, meaning that they are the ones that are ranked lower that are closest in competitive distance to number 7, which means there probably are just a few factors they can change, and they can knock number 7 out of the spot. So inversely, there are some folks that are